about a topic called heat sources. So what is heat sources? Do you know resources? What are resources? These are resources that do not come from people. These are comes from nature. Usually, we can't make resources by ourselves. So, heat resources are kind of like resources. So now, let's don't waste any more time. Let's get started. Where can we get heat sources? We can get heat sources from the sun. So why? The sun is an object that is very hot. It's out in the sky, very very hot. Mm. Uh, there's no people who wants to visit the sun because if they come close to the sun, a just a little bit close to the sun, they will be burned in just one, in just ten sec, maybe. These suns are very very hot. It's very dangerous to come. So usually the suns are very dangerous birds. So um, many many uh, astronauts they won't say that they will explore the sun if they can. If they can, then they won't explore the sun either. Because the sun is so hot, it can make them burn. What about fire? Fire is a heat resource. So fire is kind of like a hot thing that is from the sun. You can see it. Usually, you can see it outside when people are burning wood, plastic, or they're burning old papers, cardboard. Usually, these will make fire. Hmm. The author's agent says that we use um dry stick and a dry rock so that we can make fire together by putting them together. Or if you're walking camping, then you collect woods, put them into a triangle, then prepare some sand. Now. Use a match or maybe use um some light. Frag it. You can see fire is here. Okay, but why do we need to prepare sand? Because sand can make fires to stop. We stopped fire. So when we finish eating marshmallow and chatting together, we run out. We're going inside to sleep in or camping in a tent. And you can put in fire. You can put in sand so that it can stop fire. But why won't we use fire? Water. Sometimes it can be water, but not always. If we always use water, sometimes the water helps fire to be bigger. Oh, wow. So that we harder to stop the fire, right? Very dangerous. Okay, so we have the sun and the fire. Now we have rubbing our hands. Now, let's try an experiment. Now take out your hand, okay? Is your eyes um tired? Yes, you are. But maybe your face. You feel tired? Now, rubbing them together fast and closely for a long time. For one minute? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, stop! Now, quickly put it on the place. Oh my, it makes my eyes to be stronger because heat is kind of like an energy so when you're rubbing hands or you're cold as ice it's usually you rub your hands so that you can make something uh, warm enough oh.
Maybe can warm up ourselves. Right? Is that correct? Try it. Now, Lily, try it. Okay, my hands can run. How about your ears? Let's see if we can. I feel like there's some heat inside it. Mm, a little bit of heat. And the last one is light. So how can light be heat resources? Now, I have a question. It is, are you sitting with your light? Or are there these lights around you? Now put it here and make the light turn on for one or two minutes. After that, you maybe you touch it. After only two minutes, okay? After two minutes, when you touch it, ooh, you feel like it's hot. It's hot. Because fire, do you remember that fire can burn? Fire burn and it makes light. Yes, it is. So now let's look at heat that changes the thing. So how can heat change the thing? Heat can make ice melt. Heat can make ice melt. How? Now, maybe if you look at these ice, they are melting. What about heat that cooks food? It can. He can cook food. Look at that barbecue piece. Oh, I love barbecue very much. Now don't talk to food anymore. Let's change our topic. He can cook food. When it burned the piece, you will see that, oh, it's striped now. Take it out, take it out. So that wants to be burned. Burned in a bad way. The last one we have here. Heat that makes multiple molds. So if you're doing some experience, some building houses, then you need metal, of course, so that the so that the apartment will be strong. But if you're making a, a shape that is like a very small piece of triangle. So we don't have any triangle metals. How? We can mix heat so that heat can mix metal bolts. After that, we would shape it into a triangle. So that we have a triangle metal. Yeah, it's very easy, right? So today we we'll learned about heat sources. Do you think that heat is important? Yes, it is. Because if we don't have heat, then our world will be black, cold, and boring. I'm turning on the light. You can see that when I turn off my light, okay, let me turn off my light. Okay? Okay, I will just do claps and it will make... Um, it to be a to be a off light, okay? Oh, I've turned up one of my lights, one of my table light, so that you can see that now it's darker for a little bit, mm, but I can still study because it's still light. It's still light. So what if I turn up all the lights in here? Huh? Let's try it. What? What's the matter? All the things are so, 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 so dark. I can't see. So that I can turn off my light. Okay, let's see when I turn off my light. It's dark. But when I turn on my light, you can see that it is lighter and that you can work right if you're working in a dark place your eyes will be bad it'll be bad for your eyes so that lights are very important you can see with my experiment 
So Lily, do you love heat? Yes, I do and love warm things. Yes, I do too. What about you? This is the questions of the day. Hmm. Do you know more about heat resources? Please tell us if you know. Now it's time to say bye. Bye.